All right, welcome in everybody. I hope you're doing well. This is um, a little reading I call for whoever needs to hear this message. I'm asking spirit for messages that need to come through for those watching right now, whether, you know, whenever you see this video, if the title has called to you, then there's a message here for you. Any zodiac signs that do show up, I will um, go deeper into them in the extended so they could be your zodiac, they could be someone else's zodiac that you're dealing with. And it may, uh, sometimes they're not even really related to the story. And I'm like, okay, why are you showing up then? I think it's the energetic resonance that um, seems to me to make the zodiac signs show up. So they're just like, hey, I'm here. It's my energy. I'm here. All right. So let's see where we go. Let's see where we go. Um, you contain the entire universe encoded within you. Wanted universe creators are you looking for for this kind of position because i think we need you polish your mirror for perfect clarity um some of you might be in a little bit of a disillusioned place like you are way more powerful way more capable etc etc and i i feel like somebody knocked you off your pins a little bit here uh, somebody could have made you feel a little bit like um, like you're not all that in a bag of chips. And I'm here to tell you, you are. You're a universe creator. You're working with the universe to create what's going on in your life. And so you might have like temporarily lost your mojo. All right. And it's sort of like, hey, you got to kind of look and see who you are again. I think you've forgotten who you are. I do. I think you've forgotten who you are. So let's lay this out. All right. Underneath is the King of Cups. All right. So King of Cups underneath. Two of Swords. Oof. Nine of Swords. Ace of Cups. Hierophant. Wow. Look at this. Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Wands. Interesting. I see Taurus here, Three of Swords, Page of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. All right, so I am, an, uh, I don't know why I pulled that, but I, but I just felt like the next card was important. Ace of Cups and Ace of Wands. Um, I feel like you have a, a water sign coming in, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, someone who you don't know yet. All right, someone who is, uh, this person could also be a mature cup energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They don't have to be that sun sign. There's Taurus here also. And I just feel like you've been through the ringer here. There's definitely some pain from past commitments. Um, and I'm just getting really this sense of like, Kind, you're kind of maybe too forgiving. <laughs> you might be a little bit too forgiving of people who are really uh, wanting to, not wanting to stick it to you, but like someone who's very careless, uh, someone who doesn't really, I, I just feel like an immaturity. There's an immaturity here. There's a kind of a not caring about how they injure people or whatever just very immature and I do feel like there's new there's good things coming ace of cups and ace of wands um the seven of pentacles right seven of pentacles and the seven of wands here seven of pentacles is about maturing with this hierophant energy it's about putting time and effort into something that matters to you okay and I feel like in the past there's been a lot of like sketchy, <laughs> sketchy relationships, um, things that have really hurt you. Uh, you've really hurt people. People really hurt you. I don't really get the sense that you're hurting anybody on purpose or anything like that. But there has been a lot of, you know, back and forth hurt here. Now, I feel like you're turning around and going, you know what? That was not, that did not do well for me. I, I feel like the way I have been dealing with relationships or the people I have been choosing to be in relationships with, I have not seen them for who they truly are. 
So you may think somebody is just awesome, this amazing person, and it turns out they're kind of a, mm, they're trying to like get one over on you. They're trying to manipulate you. They're trying to take your power, something like that. And I do feel like you've come through this relatively unscathed, relatively, okay? You definitely have had people use you, take your energy, um, narcissistic partners, toxic people, karmic partners, all of it. And I feel like you finally come to some kind of place, like purging all of that away getting rid of all those toxic patterns. Like it's been a long time. I feel like it's been a while. And I do feel like you've put in the time and effort. I do feel like your boundaries are better now. I do feel like you're more grounded and you are ready for something real. Okay, I do feel that. Now, you might have a little hiccup. There might be someone that shows up from your past or whatever, and there's a little bit of a hiccup here. So there's a three of swords. And there's a, a small apology or kind of a, this is very small, all right? It's three of swords and the page of cups. So like somebody did something not so nice. It wasn't really meant to hurt you. or it, This is not 10 of swords. This is not like tower, death, all of that. And I do feel like you move beyond it rather quickly. The eight of wands are here to talk to you about, all right, we're just going to move on, right? Now, I do think you're moving on towards this Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands, but I want to say, like, don't, don't just blow it off as nothing. There's something here. There's some kind of lesson here. And let's clarify this. Why is this back, this Three of Swords and the Page of Cups here? Why does this show up again? Wow. Okay, Death, Knight of Cups. Oh, all right. Five of Swords and the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups again. Um, you are about to have a big transformation into a relationship that you could get a little paranoid about. Oh, oh, okay. Is this person here to hurt me? Like, there's a reminder here that, you know, um, but I feel like this is that person is only capable of that five of swords kind of three of swords behavior they're not capable of anything else so i do feel like you have some good stuff coming in but it's a it's a reminder here that you have changed i think you see it now i think you see what's going on and you know the page of cups is kind of a small apology or i don't know a little bit of like a, a just a small offering and I do think there's forgiveness here. I do. But I also feel like there's a forgive, but forgive, release, let go of, and be smarter and be more aware, right? Put in the time and effort to build the boundary again. Like how did that person get under my radar? How did they find their way in? So the lesson is like trust, but verify. So when this King of Cups comes in or when this Ace of Wands and Ace of Cups here, there's two of Cups now, two of Cups coming in. It's because you have good boundaries. It's because you've put in the time and effort. You're showing up here as the Hierophant and like Hierophant Taurus energy is about what we value. It's like, what do I think is meaningful? What are my values around relationships? And remind yourself of these things. So when you're having conversations with people who are trying to have relationships with you, you're aware of these blind spots, okay? You're aware of that. This hidden truth, hidden truth oracle, I'm gonna just get a couple cards around. Uh, I think you're worried that you're gonna keep attracting these people, this kind of energy. You came closer than anyone. I'm starting to understand our connection. I look for you everywhere. I wish I could share my good news with you. I, this person, um, or these this experiences from the past, you really were dealing with people who were unavailable. Their heart was not available. 
I mean, it doesn't, unavailable does not mean that they're in another relationship. Unavailable means that their heart is closed off. And it's almost like they don't feed themselves, they don't give themselves love, so they look for other people to do that, and it basically is vampire, the vampire energy. Um, you did come closer than anyone. I'm starting to understand our connection. I look for you everywhere. I wish I could share my good news with you. I just feel like this person has nobody. All right, this is like, I don't know that this is one person or this is a pattern of people um, who have taken advantage of your good nature, who have been, um, I don't know, just, you know, kind of shitty. And really because they don't give themselves love, so they have to take it from other people. And you have been this kind of beacon of light, this ace of wands. You really have been ace of wands, ace of cups, and uh, this kind soul. And I feel like this person, I think you need to understand who you are, uh, that you are way more powerful than you give yourself credit for. And I think this person sees that, or this pattern has indicated to me that there are people out there who have seen your light from afar and aren't good at shining their own light. So they come to you and you, they're taking from your light. Eight of wands here. And in this instance, I do feel like there's a change. Death here to me means that this is over. This pattern is over. Okay. So the eight of wands. Six of wands, five of pentacles, queen of wands, and the knight of pentacles. Um, this, this energy of this pattern is about ego. This person has a big ego and this person is also very, um, I don't know, knight of, uh, the knight of pentacles makes me feel with the Taurus energy, like they are seeking to fill themselves up from other people or they're not able to really climb the heights of energy. They're not able to get off the ground. They're not able to live them, lift themselves up. And so they're seeking you to do that. But the five of pentacles makes me feel like they have a very low um, energy level, very, um, I don't know, kind of deceptive. Five of swords, five of pentacles. I do not like that. We have three of swords here. I, I also think that there's a bit of disappointment here that this person couldn't be somebody better. Okay, I do feel that. So I think you gotta know that you're well and truly out of this, that this is not something, this is something that's showing up in your life just to be like, hey, you see this? This has been a pattern for you and you need to get more grounded. You need to get have more boundaries. The boundary thing needs to be better. Because we do have someone coming in, this King of Cups. We do have someone coming in that can be a commitment, that can be somebody loving and kind. And But it doesn't mean that when you have people attracted to you who are of that higher vibration, you still need to have boundaries. You still need to have done the work. I mean, it's not like, oh, that stuff goes out the window. And I think that's what this is about, that you do allow people to come in in a way that is... Um, not grounded in a way that is unboundaried. Okay. I feel like the, uh, for those of you who are resonating with this, uh, your empathic, um, uh, energy has holes in it. It's time to fill those holes. Okay. It's time, it's time to, to be different in relationship change death. It's funny that I mentioned death before and then death shows up. The death part here is I feel like that pattern is over now. It doesn't mean, though, that when new people come in that you don't use those lessons, especially if they are a real opportunity for relationship. It's not time to throw away those tools like, oh, I only use those for narcissists. I only use it. No, no, no. No, not really. Boundaries. Uh, self-love, all of these things still need to be in play, even if you have a partner who is of a higher vibration, right? You still need to have your own agency, your own sovereignty 
Um, there's something here about a relationship that isn't like the old relationship may have been very codependent and stuff. And I feel like this lesson is coming across your path so that you remember it, so that you are not going to go into a good relationship with these Swiss cheese holes in your energy patterns, because that will puncture or that will make, um, that will create difficulty with this higher vibe person. You could create a codependent uh, relationship where it wouldn't naturally exist. You have to be conscious of these patterns and allow yourself to work through them so that you can have something better. You can have that. You can have a real relationship. It takes effort. It really does. All right. So that's what's coming in. Um, I see Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, definitely water sign with Taurus energy. I also see Virgo energy. So um, water energy and, and uh, some earth here. But new love, new opportunity coming in. Let's not Let's not squander it. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see where we go. I'm going to continue on with this reading. Um, this feels to me that uh, you have some a real legit opportunity coming in, and I'll do some timing in the extended too. All right. Link is below if you want to continue on. I'll see you over there.